What's going on everybody? This is Dr. Andrioni from Cannabis Doctors of Florida. We are finally going over all the terpenes. Hercules, Hercules. So in today's video, let's talk about beta mercine. Beta mercine, aka 7 methyl 3 methylene 1 6 octadiene. Bruh. Wow. Mercine is an acyclic monoterpene, which means there's no ring in its structure. And notice there's no oxygen molecules either, so it's a terpene, not a terpenoid. It has a molecular weight of 136.2 Daltons, and its boiling point is said to be about 331 to 332 degrees Fahrenheit, or 167 degrees Celsius. Hands down, beta mercine is the most commonly found terpene in modern cannabis in the United States and Europe definitely in Florida. Beta mercine also occurs naturally in a number of other plant species such as hops, mangoes, lemongrass, bay leaves, parsley, and thyme. 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 Its odor has been described as earthy, herbaceous, balsamic, and green, or it's been said to have a fresh hoppy smell, but above all it's a pleasant odor. And it contributes to the characteristic mildly sweet flavor associated with cannabis. Mercine has been said to be associated with the couch lock phenomenon that we experience with many types of chemo bars today. This is less surprising once we realize that mercine is one of the sedative agents in hops, which is cannabis' sibling. And it's been suggested that it's simply the amount of mercine in a chemovar that will dictate how you're gonna be feeling. For example, if the sample has 0.5% mercine or more, regardless of the other terps present, it's gonna be labeled as an indica and it's likely gonna give you a sedative effect. While in chemotypes that have less than 0.5% mercine, this is less so and the other terps get to contribute more to that overall effect. While this may or may not be the case always, I can say this is a reliable indicator. Whenever I see mercine as the top terp on the COA, then I already know that effect is gonna be calming and sedative. For example, let's take a look at this strain from cookies, apples and bananas. Mercine just dominates. So really, this is something that you wanna reserve for the end of the day or at night to get some sleep, which is one of the most common reasons that people use cannabis in the first place. Oh, and if you remember from one of the cannabis quiz videos, I said that hemp products or products high in CBD tend to also be very high in mercine, which is why people are misled into thinking that CBD is sedative. It's really not. It's the mercine. And luckily, I do have a real world example for you that I'm going to show you now. Let's take a look at this strain from the flowery called Canatonic. The CBD is like 10%, the THC is like 4%, and the terps? Bruh. Alrighty then, so what are some of the therapeutic properties that we stand to gain from beta mercine? So we know that mercine is very sedative in nature. Also, it's well known for its anxiolytic or calming properties. It's a great agent for insomnia. This is something that you wanna really use at nighttime like I said before. It's been shown that mercine exhibits anti-inflammatory properties via prostaglandin E2, all the while being gastroprotective. This is in contrast with NSAIDs and things like that where you gotta be careful if you do too much, you can get ulcers and things. One study found mercine to be effective in inhibiting the inflammatory response induced by lipopolysaccharide as well as a significant inhibition in gamma interferon as well as interleukin-4. Beta mercine has been shown to have pain relieving or analgesic properties, which interestingly enough can be blocked by naloxone. Naloxone is an opioid inverse agonist, which kind of suggests an opioid-like mechanism of action. This is likely mediated by the alpha-2 adrenergic receptors, but I still have to confirm this. But on that same note, beta mercine also exhibits muscle relaxant properties, and it's been shown to prolong sleep time in many animal studies. Mercine has also been shown to be an anti-convulsant agent, which also supports the argument that full-spectrum products tend to be better than CBD distillate or isolate for those kinds of things. Additionally, it demonstrates antioxidative properties in neurons as well as chondrocytes, which possibly could help those with osteoarthritis in the future. Oh, and just like all the other terps, beta mercine is super antimicrobial. If we remember back to the terpene video, this is one of the ecological advantages terpenes serve for the plant. Eh. And it's been said that beta mercine may assist cannabinoids and other molecules across the blood-brain barrier by increasing its permeability, but the evidence for this is very limited and I'm not too sure. But given its chemical structure, I don't see why not. Some interesting facts about mercine. Just like cannabis, mercine is the most common terpene in hops as well. In brewing, beta mercine is one of the most potent aromatic flavor components and most odor active volatile in hops essential oil. It constitutes as much as 70% of hops essential oil by volume. That's a lot. And clearly, it's the dominating terp in both cannabinoids and hops, and this is because they're related. They're in the same family. The Cannabisi family? The Cannabisi family? Interestingly enough, there are a number of enzymes that solely produce mercine as the end product as long as GPP is the substrate. We should know GPP from the last video. And also, there are some enzymes that will produce beta mercine mostly as the end product, but then if there's another substrate involved, it'll produce another variant like linalol or even limonene, which is kind of different. In addition, 
Outside of cannabis, myrcene is commonly used as an aroma and flavoring agent in food and cosmetics. Oh, and I found this random, but the most common method to produce myrcene industrially is pyrolysis of beta pinene. Guys, what's your favorite terpene? Let me know down in the comments. We're down one terp. We have so many more to go. I hope you found this helpful. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe.